Hey guys, Chris here from Reason Stuff, and I actually have the comparison for you guys of the Sennheiser CX200 and the Sony MDREX 56 LP. Um, both of these retail for just about $25, just depends where you get them. Um, you could get the Sony's in Walmart for like $33, but then again, you could get them on Amazon for like $5. Same thing with the Sennheiser, just depends where you buy them. So, onto the actual number specs. The um, the Sony's have a frequency response of 6 to 23,000 hertz, while the Sennheiser's have 20 to 20,000. Um, that is quite a bit of a difference of 3,000 more on the Sony side. And the sensitivity of the Sony's are 100, um, 100 decibels while the Sennheisers have 110 so that explains why the Sennheisers are a little bit louder and um, they're both the same length the headphones so none are shorter than the other you could just buy um, an extender if you really need a longer cable um, as for the sound the volume like I said the decibels the Sony's aren't as loud as the Sennheisers but they are really crisp while the Sennheisers just focus on bass and they treble a lot more while these just get you the sound basically they don't really vibrate your ears like you would want to with bass songs so basically this is for casual listeners the Sony's while the Sennheisers are for more bass listeners things like that um, and for the same price, I think it's a good comparison, but the Sony do have more than just the headphones. Like I showed you in the unboxing, they come with this little baggie for the headphones and this um, little thing to wrap it around so that it doesn't get tangled up. They both come in three different sizes uh, of small, medium, large earbuds, the rubber earbuds that you can change. They both... Um, by default come in medium so you can see that they're very similar in size the Sony's are a bit longer in length so it goes a bit further but the actual hole where the sound comes out is smaller unlike the Sennheiser is a lot bigger which I guess helps the base of the earbuds another thing that I found is the Sony's are really quiet when you're not listening to them but the music is playing on the highest volume when I just leave it there you could hear a little bit but you can't hear that much of the headphones or the Sennheisers probably because uh, the rubber earbud has such an open hole they let out a lot more sound even if you cover it so basically when you're somewhere in public and it's a quiet place it will be noticed um, the prices, like I said, are both $25, which is a good price for these kinds of headphones. Because once it reaches that um, that sound, that good sound, it all depends on how the headphones are made. The Sennheisers are, are a bit more heavy and sturdy, while the Sonys are lightweight and hard to tangle up. So they are there are the pros and cons of this. Um, let's see what else is there. I mean, with the specifications, there's not much uh, when you compare actual everyday use. The Sennheisers have the little grip, like you saw in the unboxing, while the Sony's are rubberized, but it's just a circle, so it's you just push it into your ear instead of the little grip. Uh, they are both labeled right and left, uh, but I personally, because I like bass songs, I would go for the Sennheisers because of the bass. The Sony is for more casual listeners, maybe for mainstream pop music that um, you know focus on the singing or like, certain instruments. But when you're looking for bass, I recommend the Sennheisers CX200 over the Sony's. As as for the packaging, I mean they're both just as good. They're both wrapped in plastic. Show off the goods right away through the opening right there just like with the Sony I'm not sure if you would see it right there so it's it's really nice they would both catch my attention if I saw them both in the store 
but I think Sennheiser has the um, the upper hand when it comes to a specific sound. Uh, the port itself, they're both gold coated, copper, gold, whatever. It has that gold color, and they're both small, which is good because they can fit into cases. Like the Spec Candy Shell has a small cutout for the headphones, so this will be really good with that. Uh, one thing I don't like about the Sony's connector is that it has the uh, the old school kind of. I don't know the cutouts here, so that it seems like it will disconnect a lot faster than this one will. It's a lot more steady, sturdy, and I guess, like I said, more stable than the the Sony's. So personally, it's all up to you what kind of music you listen to, and it's up to what you think about the headphones. So I do recommend you get both of them if you can and compare them yourself. But from my perspective. I prefer the Sennheisers. Thanks for watching. Be sure to comment, rate, subscribe, and suggest anything you want. I will virtually try anything. Thanks for watching.